Getting even needs part of our nature. Sometimes when somebody does or says something that just makes us feel really bad, we just want to do the same to them or even worse. So we just want to do something to seek revenge. But why is revenge really actually harmful? Why is not healthy just to seek it? I know we have heard, you know, so many times that it's best to be the bigger person and to let go, which is, I think, it's not a bad idea. So why is it that seeking revenge is something that it's going to be hurtful to you? And in case that you don't remember or that you have heard it before, it's actually really good for you to recall it. So why is it bad? Is it bad, first of all, because every time you do something in regards to that revenge, you're going to relieve the moment you felt really bad about the action of the other person. And that is going to affect your mental health. And a difference when you let go, you're going to try to heal and focus your attention to something else. And I know that when you seek the revenge and you get what you want and you get that the other person gets their karma, you feel very satisfied. And I know that might happen. But in the long run, if you just make everything possible in order for them to get their karma, then you're going to realize how much, and, uh, how much energy you actually spend on it. And it's not actually necessary. It's a waste of time. So what's the best thing to do? You know, there are a few things for me that have worked when these things have happened to me in the past uh, for coping and letting go instead of actually seeking revenge. And the best thing, and especially if you have a really close relationship with this person and if you have to see them every single day, is to talk about how you felt, you know, with their actions. But what you have to do is to communicate what is it that you felt when that happened, but not in a confrontational way, but do it in a way where you're seeking understanding, in a very compassionate way. And if you see that the person is really open and that uh, they're willing to understand, and then maybe you're going to realize that they, they didn't even uh, do it with a really bad intention, which is what happens most of the time. And in this case, then you're going to basically realize that it wasn't necessary for you to seek revenge. Uh, that would just make the, the issue actually bigger than perhaps it was to begin with. And by talking about that, it's going to release those emotions that you have inside as you were always thinking about it, you know? And always uh, talking about the things will make you feel free. And if you see that somehow the person is not willing to actually uh, take their time to be empathetic, you feel like they are not apologizing, this is the part where you need to be really strong. And you need to be thankful for the situation that makes you stronger. This is the chance for you to take a step back and actually think how... Uh... So as I was saying, if you don't see that the person is actually apologizing, you see like they don't take the time to understand and I know it might be really frustrating, you need to be really strong and start focusing on other things, other activities for coping and realizing how strong you can be and how, you know, how much control you can have over your thoughts and especially your emotions. So it is a special and, and a great time for you to exercise your emotional intelligence, which is a topic that is really good to also talk about. But in this moment is to appreciate that this is a correct opportunity for you to become stronger and to know yourself better. And what is it that you're able to do and capable of doing for you to feel better and to be the best version of yourself and not letting a situation just make you become the person who hurt you. And the last one, you know, forgive the person that is not even willing to apologize. And sadly, we're going to be crossing paths with people that is going to hurt you in many ways, but they're never going to feel any remorse there, they will never apologize, and we need to be the one who is open and willing to make the closure. I know that sometimes we're just waiting for this person to say I'm sorry, to actually mean it, but that may not never happen. And you also need to be okay with that. 
sometimes that what that's what makes people just to stick into the past and always thinking and dwelling over you know the emotion and the situation they had and seeking revenge is just going to make you you know a little bit more sick and it's not going to make you a better person and it's a waste of time like I already said at the beginning of the video so you know we are not able to change you know how the other people uh, act the other person action but we can change how we perceive the others and that's the part you need to focus more in how you react to that in how you manage your emotion and especially to exercise the art of letting go so i just hope you liked the video but the most important part that it was really useful for you and i don't only want you to give me a thumb up but to also share it for someone you think is also needed so i just see you the next time